Hello, Fodder Warriors. Today looks like it's going to be a very good day. Let's see what we get. Please don't be stinky. Walk out once to watch card. No way. Uh, uh, that's okay. It's... It's okay. Alright, so let's talk market because obviously the big thing that came out yesterday was that party bag. And we saw some cards absolutely fly yesterday. And, I mean, we kind of did shout it out. I've been telling you guys to pick up those, you know, low rated informs at around discard price. Specifically the 83s and the 84s. I said, I didn't expect the 80s and 81s and 82s to also rise as much as they did. But they did. I mean, everything is up to about 15k. Like, literally every single inform is up to 15k now. Uh, and you'll see that the 82s went up to 16, 83s are up to 17, 84s are up to like 15, 16, 17 as well. And I want to say these did end up peaking a little bit higher. Obviously, it's the day after, so some of these cards have started to come back down because that party bag is, of course, unrepeatable. But I don't think it's the last time we're going to see it in this promo specifically. The fact that EA dropped this so early into the token set, it just kind of tells me that they're going to do it again. So don't be surprised if next week you see the same thing. So for this weekend, what I'm looking at, I'm looking for these informs to kind of start to drop back down, specifically the team of the week that's coming out today on Wednesday. If you see these cards sitting at discard price, pick some of them up, throw them in your club if you have to, uh, and even some of the other cards. If you start to see these cards come down in price, pick them up, store them in your club, because we know that we are going to be getting party bags, Not maybe not only in this promo, but for the remainder of FIFA. We'll probably see it a lot more in the future. So club stock, guys, it's really that easy to make coins. And of course, if you're not a super active player, I mean, you can go all in if you really want to. But as I said, I think the best bet is going to be picking these cards up from the new team of the week that comes out today. And we're going to have a pretty good one. Uh, I'm sure this video is probably going to be dropped before the team of the week comes out. So we might not exactly know what it is. Now, with the party bag coming out yesterday, it kind of gets me thinking about some of these other cards, specifically these promo cards, because I think some of them are just a little bit too low. And I kind of feel like EA is going to require them in an SBC soon. I don't know whether it's going to be a player or whether it's going to be a party bag, whether it's going to be something, but I just, I can't see them letting these cards sit this low in price, specifically the Imbolo and Barba and Pau Torres and Turabab. I think that these cards are just a little bit too low and you can even consider this one and, and even Gram at discard maybe. But I, I think the 86s are probably the safest ones to pick up because of how low they are. For me, these cards are not only usable, but they're also just good. And the only thing kind of keeping them down is links. So if we go ahead and take a look at just the cheapest uh, fodder prices we have currently, uh, you'll notice that with the 86s, the lowest currently is 12k. Uh, and we saw two of them are set at 13k and 15k. So for me, I think these two are probably your safest pickups right here in Pau Torres and this card. Uh, they're just too low. And I think if EA do decide to drop requirements needing, you know, these winter wild cards in for an SBC, these cards are going to go to the moon. They'll, they'll literally double in price. Now, here comes the money. Here we go. That's not guaranteed. We're not positive EA are going to drop that. So for me, it doesn't hurt to pick up a couple, maybe just one of each storm in your club. Uh, because over time, when the supply gets cut off, the cards will end up going up in price anyways. But if you guys do get lucky and, you know, we do end up seeing an SBC um, that requires these cards, you you'll see them fly like crazy. Now, guys, let's talk gold fodder specifically here because gold fodder has been a huge discussion uh, because it really hasn't moved much during this promo yet. And I want to say this is just due to the fact that we haven't gotten the craziest kind of SBCs just yet. And there's also so much supply of these cards. But they're slowly kind of chugging along. I'd say the higher rated is done all right on some SBCs, but majority of it really hasn't moved much. And I guess this is just due to the fact that we get the countering supply every single day when we head into that store. There's always promo packs. There's always lightning rounds now. Uh, I mean, we get basically 100Ks, 125Ks every day. So there's always supply coming onto this market, unfortunately. And that's kind of what's caused fodder to not move too much. And really, the only thing that'll get it to really, really move is if we continue to get these SBCs 
where we have like the party bag requirements where it requires an 83 rated team uh something that everybody does and takes off a lot of the supply on the market now guys for me because we do have a new team of the week coming out the only gold fodder cards i really really like kind of investing in now are the ones that go out of packs and we did take a chance on um angelino he didn't get in team of the week unfortunately this time around and he didn't really move much but when we took a look at like trent who went out of packs these goals that go out of packs for a week those are the fodder cards that actually tend to move because they don't get resupplied onto the market and it just makes for a way you know better investment because again no supply means the price can actually move whereas with all these cars it's just is constantly getting supplied so unless we get some kind of really good upgrades i just i don't know if 83s will move too much but I do think we're going to see upgrades. I do think we're going to get league specific upgrades for the second half of this promo heading into the new year time into the you know Christmassy period. I do expect some really good content to drop. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. I think some of these are really good pickups. I think 84s are getting a little bit too low as well. I'm seeing a lot of cards sit at 2k. That's way too cheap for a lot of these cards. So keep an eye on these two, especially the 84s uh, and the 83s. I think there'll be a time where they start to move. But you guys have to be patient and if you don't want to hold these cards for an extended period of time don't go all in just club stock pick up one of each store in the club or whatever but i'm consistently getting questions now of people just wondering when these cards are going to rise and that you know they're becoming impatient holding and it's just that that's the way fodder goes sometimes you're gonna have to hold for a while it's an investment you if you go in unsigned you're gonna have to hold it Obviously today we are also going to be getting our upgrades on these Adidas numbers up cards. For me, they're not really a, a one you really want to touch now. Obviously we all know about it because of the loading screen. Uh, and we already kind of saw the prices kind of move for it. You saw just a little bit of a rise and, and that was it. I don't expect to see these cards move much more. We know what the upgrades are. I don't think people are really too, too excited for them anyways. The cards have become kind of irrelevant now uh, as we've gotten a really good promo selection the last couple days. So personally, I'm just kind of avoiding those too. Now, before we wrap it up, I do want to talk about our last final investment to kind of keep a look on. Now, guys, I want you guys to be a little bit. You don't need to buy these now. Keep in mind, you don't need to buy these investments I'm about to share with you right now. But I do want you guys to keep in the back of your head these icon swaps because um, we know what leagues are going to be coming uh, now that we already have the first half out. So for top five leagues, we saw the Premier League, La Liga, and Serie A. Obviously, in the next one, we're going to end up getting the Bundesliga and League Un. And then for the uh, mini leagues, we also got the Dutch one, which means we're probably going to get the uh, Portuguese League, Liga Portugal, Liga Nos, whatever it's called now. So guys, go ahead and in the next kind of week or two, I'd probably do this with about a week before the next swaps are supposed to come out. With about a, a week to go, go ahead and pick up Silver League of Portugal, guys. Pick up the ones that are very usable. Uh, if you guys want to get Bundesliga ones, uh, go for it. I know you kind of need first owner players for these top five leagues, so I guess it doesn't matter too much for them. But for these squad battle ones, there's a lot of coins that you could have been made. Uh, Dutch silvers, Argentinian silvers, Brazilian silvers. They did so well. So don't like be opposed to potentially picking up a couple of, you know, silvers from each of these kind of requirements. Uh, you know, I, I think Liga Portugal ones are going to do really well, the silvers and maybe even the golds like Pepe and stuff like that. They could end up doing, you know, pretty well too. Guys, if you have no idea what's going to be coming out for Winter Wildcard Team 2, I highly suggest you guys watch this video right here. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.